Ready? Your minute's running. Not yet. Not yet. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word escort? Hear the word what? Escort. 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 Foreign travel for me. <laughs> I nice. could tell it wasn't quite the same for you. I got that right away. All right, all right, okay. So next question. <laughs> Probably, uh, you know, a girl that takes men out, or even like a girl that takes women out. I don't know. Mm, the first thing that comes to mind is slut. You know, worker, professional. So. Probably in that order. Escort is a female who makes her money off of stripping. What do you think the difference is between an escort and a prostitute? Maybe two hundred dollars? <laughs> maybe I don't know. I maybe five hundred? <laughs> Depending. Escort. Oh, that's <laughs> why don't you go first? Well, I think quite simply an escort is somebody I think you call and it's like a service with it. Prostitute is something you just like, or someone rather, you just meet on the street. Probably like something bomb like you, like and then some furs, I don't know, like something really bomb, like very beautiful woman. And then a prostitute I picture like, you know, heels, short skirt, bad makeup. <laughs> I don't know. An escort may be a little more professional they may work at a specific establishment, a business. A prostitute's on the street, on the corner, trying to flag down like cars. Escort for me is more like a companion for the night, or uh, someone that's uh, a buddy. I like, I buddy. like the girlfriend experience thing. Like, I've never had one, but I'm just, I, I understand it's like something that people do. I guess I'm thinking because an escort I feel like is more high class and then like a prostitute's kind of like, you know, the bottom, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think of an escort as being like thousands of dollars to take out. <laughs> what does a prostitute look like? Well, she's kind of worn down, kind of tattered, just kind of used and abused. So, you know, she looks older than she really is. Uh, she's probably got some health concerns, so you just want to maintain a safe distance. It's probably the wrong way to be looking at it, but it's the one that I always think of. Somebody, I suppose drugs and all do come into your head a little bit when you think about it, but um, as discriminatory as it might be, you do get a, in my head anyway, there's a picture of that, of a runaway or something, you know. I think a lot of women that go into it, go into it because they don't have a choice. Um, and some others going to because they're made to go into it through like trade and stuff like that. So, yeah. What do you think the repercussions would be if prostitution was legalized in the United States? I don't think there'd be a lot of repercussion. I really don't. But what do you think? It's legal in Nevada. <laughs> I'm just reading a book now, uh, The Old West. Very different. Very, very different from today. And I don't know that that's. I, I'm not close enough to that profession to know if it's good or bad. I'm sorry. Um, no, to be honest, like, people need their fix of that. I think you're, I don't know, I think it should just, as long as you don't do anything bad to the, to the prostitutes, I think it should be fine. Are you serious? I think that would be horrible. That would be like Amsterdam in San Francisco, California. Like, straight up prostitution, so I don't think that's good. Um, neighborhoods would become dangerous. Uh, there would be a lot more fear and a lot more like dirty sex, obviously. It wouldn't be terrible. I think it actually would be a decent arrangement. It's weird because I actually feel like uh, prostitution in San Francisco is almost like a it's almost a given. You see a lot Especially of Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Or in the Tenderloin, it's already something that's happening and uh, something that you don't really even think about. It's because it's happening all the time and so you almost to a certain extent similar to, you know, smoking pot or, you know, something that's already very close to 
illegal. You well, I don't think that'll ha ever happen, but, uh, you know, it's like Las Vegas. I mean, is Las Vegas, you know, is it blowing up? I mean, is it a big deal? Shouldn't people be able to do what they want? I think the government should stay the hell out of our business and let us do whatever the fuck we want to do. Because it's really not their business. And some people, they have to pay for it. Some people need to pay for it. You know, not everybody is as blessed as the guy you interviewed before me. So. <laughs> that was good. All right. You hear You're on the, the word. Question now. I know, this we will be the last one. I promise it will be the last. The minute is up.